Hey, this is Laura Workala with So Ingenious on YouTube. I wanted to talk about the position of the take-up lever. A lot of newer machines that have a few more features will make it so you can have the take-up lever stop up or stop down. And that is very helpful for completing a stitch. Um, I want to show you though what happens when you stop with the take-up lever in the wrong position. I probably should have done this vertically so you can see this. Um, let's see, maybe, okay, maybe I'll just tip it as I need it, I don't know. Okay, let's look at this, okay, come on. Okay, so now, let's see, here is the needle going down. Okay, my machine stops with the needle in the down position, okay? A lot of times people think if I just raise the needle out of the fabric, that I'm done with my stitch and I can pull it away. But look, it, it doesn't pull away. And you're like thinking, what's wrong with my machine? Well, what happens is that you cannot see the take-up lever because the take-up lever is actually way down in the machine. What is the take-up lever's job? It's to go way down to make the top thread long enough, long enough to get wrapped around the bobbin and then pull, the take-up lever pulls up the slack. It takes up the slack. So what's gonna happen now is you see, if I take and I, oh, it doesn't like that. I'm gonna move it so my take-up lever is at the top and I moved it so it's at the top. I moved it by hand because my machine will stop in the right position. Now watch what happens when I try and pull this away. Pulls away just fine. So let me just demonstrate. I'm gonna pull this off here. So you can maybe see how a stitch works, okay? Let's see if I can just cut those threads over here. All right, so I have a top thread that's green and a bottom thread that's blue. I think you'll be able to see this as it wraps around the bobbin, this green thread, okay? What I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn the wheel by hand. Whenever you turn a hand wheel on a machine, you always do it top towards you. And that's counterintuitive. You, at, when you walk and when you bicycle, always is kind of top away from you. You know, it's kind of that kind of rotation. But this is the opposite rotation, so it's counterintuitive. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go like this, and the needle is going to go down into the machine. Let's just make that a little bigger so you can maybe see what's going on. Okay, so I'm just getting it down on the machine. There's a hook you cannot see on here that's gonna go around. It's gonna grab the thread coming out of the take-up lever and make a loop out of it and have it go up and around the bobbin and, and sweep all the way around. Then the take-up lever is going to take up the slack to finish the stitch. So the needle is down. It, the top thread has been grabbed. Now watch for the green swipes. Now, do you see this green thread? It's sweeping across right here. And it's sweeping around the bobbin. And I'm gonna put the take up lever to the top. Now it took up the slack. And there's my take up lever at the top. Okay, now let's go back down here Sorry about all the focusing I have to do here. I'm gonna pull on this so that that's retrieved. Okay, now, a lot of times people look at what is the needle position to see if that's when they can stop. If you don't have a machine that stops in the, will stop in the up position, um, then you will have this problem. Okay, this goes down. And now watch the needle. The needle's up. But look at the thread is right here. It's still making its journey around the bobbin and it's not ready for you to pull it away. But a lot of people say, oh, the needle's out of the fabric. I can pull it away. The stitch is not complete. So when you pull it away, you double over the threads and you end up with like three or four threads coming out of the machine and you're going, oh, what's wrong with this machine? And then finally you pull it away, you take out the extra thread. And what is the first thing that happens? When you cut that thread, the take up alert goes up and it pulls the thread out of the needle, out of the eye of the needle. And you start sewing, you say, how come it's not sewing? What's wrong with this machine? Well, it's because you didn't stop at the right place.
okay? So let me just finish bringing this all the way up. So if you want to watch the needle, I'll do it one more time. If you want to watch the needle, okay, let's see if I can lower this a little bit and get right in there. There, that's looking better. Watch the needle. The needle goes down. It's coming out. It's not even halfway through the stitch. Now the take up lever has gotten low to make that thread long enough to get around the bobbin. It's now going to take up the slack like that. Now do you see these? Now the needle is all the way as high as it can go and it's just going to start traveling down. So if you want to make sure, if you're only going to watch the needle, make sure the needle has gone all the way up and is just starting to travel down. And that's when you stop. Okay, so I wanted to show you that to you. And let me see, maybe I can do one more thing here. I know this is longer than the other videos, but if you understand it, you're more likely to do it. If I put this here and I go along and I'm stitching like this, Okay, and I'll go back stitch. Okay, I'm ready. So I turn the wheel toward me and the needle's out. Well, you can't see it, but in this slot right here, the take up lever is really, really low. It's at its lowest point. I can see a reflection of it in that slot. Now I'm gonna try and pull away. It doesn't pull away. Because of course, you can even see the green thread through my little cover here. It's not done, it's not done. So you go, oh, come on, come on. And then, oh, I broke the thread. But now I'm going to go, okay, well, and I'll just cut this, cut these threads. Great. You know, I got that out of there. What's wrong with this machine is what often people are thinking, you know. I go in and cut those threads. Now the needle has to go up, right? Look at what's happened. Oh, I just unthreaded my needle. So this is one, this is so important. You stop with the take up lever at the top. Stop at the top. You can even write it on your machine. I do it with my students. Stop at the top. Because if you stop at the top, you will eliminate several problems that happen when you're sewing and you will lose a lot of frustration. Thanks for watching.